plan to see grow forest. This means that any small change you make can lead to larger changes in the future. These sort of changes have helped make our daily life easier and have also inspired others and created opportunities for further, further innovation. Medical advances are an example of planting the seeds and growing a forest. Let us give you an example. Have you ever heard of an anesthetic? They are one of the most important and significant medical advances of history since they allow all, if most, if not all, surgical operations to be actualized. Anesthetics is used for medical treatment, and in order to use it, it is either injected into our bodies or inhaled through our mask. When it goes in, the human body becomes insensible, so people feel no pain. We use this to help patients to feel less pain while undergoing some painful surgical operations. Because of this, anesthetics have contributed highly for the development of the medical science. But did you know that the start of this wasn't obvious? Before the middle of the 19th century, undergoing surgical operations were, was extremely risky and painful, to the point where patients avoided writing about their experience, as to not remember the pain. However, the pain wasn't just felt by patients, it was also felt by the doctors. Uh, John Abernathy, a famous 19th century doctor, described entering an operation room like going into a museum. In the middle 19th century, Dr. William Wharton, a dental surgeon who was eager to increase his dental profits, determined to find an effective painkiller chemical to aid in surgery and later invented the first anesthesia. For this, Dr. Morton decided to use Bethel as your, which when which used now which use pain, which does pain, and the patient conscious. However, it had many drawbacks. It irritated mucous membrane, causing coughing and hypersolivation. It was also prone to explosion due to the extreme volume. Soon after, many other people joined the journey of finding a perfect anesthetic. Around eight years after Dr. Morton, a Scottish obstetrician, Jamie Simpson, created a new anesthetic that could be injected at a faster rate and lasted for longer periods of time. A little later, another doctor, Dr. Colton, reintroduced another anesthetic that was non-toxic to the brain, liver, and kidneys. However, both anesthetics were far from perfect. And because of this, over many periods of time, people continuously tried to find the perfect anesthetic. All of this previous advances helped the creation of protocol. The most commonly used anesthetic was invented in 1977 by Ike Glenn. This is used globally nowadays because of the rapid return to consciousness and less risk of vomiting. It is also non-explosive, meaning it is suitable for all types of modern surgical technology. Throughout the history of the development of the anesthetic, one can notice that all of the medical treatment options that we have available to us today came from one dentist's idea for painless operations. In other words, this means that any idea that you have can lead to futuristic development, or any small take that you take today can impact and revolutionize the future. So, what will you do? What can you do? How will you impact the world? What can you do to plant, to, what will you plant to grow a forest? Thank you for listening.